After the Thai Beanie Baby craze of the 90s had ended, Thai had to look for the next big thing for the new generation. They tried releasing lines like Pillow Pals, Baby Thai, Beanie Kids, Beanie Boppers, and Thai Girls, but none of these plush lines really took off and most of them lasted less than a year. That is, until June of 2009, when Ty introduced a new line of plush called Beanie Boos. They were adorable stuffed animals with big heads and especially big round eyes. They had a slight resemblance to Beanie Babies, but with a more cutesy style. But would they be a success? Watch this video to find out the history of Beanie Boos. In 2009, the first seven Beanie Boos were released in the UK only. These iconic Beanie Boos were bamboo, bubblegum, coconut, kiwi, peanut, slush, and waddles. Today, these are the rarest Beanie Boos, and collectors dream of having them. Three months later, in August of 2009, there was a second release of Beanie Boos. There were a few changes. Peanut had disappeared and Bubblegum the Koala was renamed Kooky. Plus, they added two new lemurs named Bubblegum and Cleo. Then, in November of 2009, Beanie Boos were finally released in the US. But there was a problem. Ty was sued by a company called Aurora that made a plush line called Yoohoo and Friends. They accused Ty of copyright infringement because they said that the two lines of toys were too similar, and as a result, Ty had to stop selling Bubblegum and Cleo due to an agreement they came to in court. If that lawsuit would have gone a little bit differently, who knows, maybe Beanie Boos wouldn't even exist today. But anyways, after these first releases, lots of Beanie Boos came out. Halloween ones, Christmas ones, Easter ones, cats, dogs, monkeys, tigers, and more. Beanie Boos were quickly making their way into every household. And in 2011, Beanie Boos won the best toy award in the plush category at the annual Learning Express convention in Jacksonville, Florida. A very well-deserved award, if you ask me. And for the first time in a while, Thai sales began to rise. Now, let's talk about how Beanie Boos evolved over the years. Up until 2012, Beanie Boos were sold in keychain size, regular size, and medium size. But in spring of 2012, large 16-inch Beanie Boos were introduced, and later, extra-large Beanie Boos came out. 2012 was an especially important year for Beanie Boos, because in March, a new style of Beanie Boos with sparkles in their eyes were introduced. These Beanie Boos were Sapphire, Treasure, Glamour, and Duchess. These Beanie Boos were also the first of many Boos to be exclusive to a store, which was Justice. Once Ty started to release sparkly eyed Beanie Boos, the solid eye Beanie Boos stopped selling. So in early 2013, Ty decided to switch all the Beanie Boos from solid eyes to sparkly eyes. They also redesigned all Beanie Boos to have a red tag instead of a purple tag. Ty announced all of these retirements on their website. In late 2013, the first Claire's exclusive Beanie Boos were released, and these were the first of many exclusive Beanie Boos. Later on, Ty also released Great Wolf Lodge exclusive Beanie Boos, Cracker Barrel exclusive Beanie Boos, Walgreens exclusive Beanie Boos, and much more. Beanie Boos also became more global when the Country Bears were released as exclusives in a bunch of different European countries and cities. It was also around this time that the online Beanie Boo community began to blossom. The first really viral Beanie Boo video was by Cutie Juliet, a really popular BooTuber. She showed her Beanie Boo collection in ABC order and it got millions of views. It was the first Beanie Boo video I ever watched. Another really popular channel at this time was Channel for Kids UK. She was one of the first to make Beanie Boo skits, short films, and movies. BooTube was extremely influential in the growth of the Beanie Boo franchise. In 2014, 16 McDonald's exclusive teeny Beanie Boos based on actual Boos were released for the 35th anniversary of Happy Meals. These were the first of many spin-offs. Now there are a lot of Thai toy lines that resemble Beanie Boos, but have a special twist. For example, the 2015 Peekaboos, which are designed to hold phones and tablets, the 2016 Teeny Ties, which are like Beanie Boos but smaller and stackable. The 2017 Mini Boos, which are ceramic figurines that came in blind boxes or key clips. The Thai Gear and the Thai Fashion Line that takes Beanie Boos and turns them into purses, backpacks, sandals, and everything you can think of. There's even been a couple of Thai fashion shows.
There's the 2018 flippables, which are sequined up beanie boos, the 2020 squishaboos, which are pillows with a tie twist, and puffies, which are beanie boos in a little ball. You also can't forget about all of the beanie boo puzzles and games and even candy. And now beanie boos even have their own mobile game called Tie Beanie Blast. Wow, these small big-eyed plushies have come really, really far. Ty has also made many Beanie Boos to help with important causes. For example, in 2011, Hope for Japan helped raise relief funds for the tsunami in Japan. All of the profits from Katie the Koala went to help save the Australian wildlife during the 2020 wildfires. Hope the Bear was released in 2020 to help raise funds for United Way's COVID-19 fund. And collectors, boy, there are a lot of Beanie Boo collectors. And over the years, certain Beanie Boos have become rarer than others. And many Beanie Boo collectors turn to sites like eBay to find the missing ones in their collection. If you wanna know more about the rarest Beanie Boos, go check out my video on the top 10 rarest Beanie Boos ever. Today, there is a huge online community of Beanie Boo fans. People of all ages use sites like YouTube, TikTok, and Instagram to show off their collections and express their creativity through Beanie Boos. Popular content includes skits, collection videos, news videos, and photography. This community has been growing ever since around 2010, and it's just getting bigger and better every day, and I'm so thankful to be a part of it. So there you have it guys, that was the history of Beanie Boos. I hope you enjoyed this video and you learned something new from it. Have a wonderful day and please comment and subscribe! Bye!